episode, we're going to be talking about the different things that breweries might put on their beer to tell you about the beer. And to illustrate this, I'm going to use... Category 12's Zombie Repellent Ale. And uh, so they have some of the standard things you'll see, the type of beer it is. This is a strong ale. They've got the uh, percentage, 6.9%. Sometimes it'll be classified as an ABV, alcohol by volume. This bottle in particular is something I've never seen before on another bottle. They actually included the OG, which is the original gravity. Uh, so, and what, what is that? What is that? That is the gravity of the wort before fermentation. So all the stuff they're gonna put in the beer, they put it in there, they measure the original gravity compared to water, which is one, and uh, yeah, then it's through that they calculate the uh, percentage of alcohol in the beer. And the original gravity was 1.065, and the percentage is 6.9. So there's general, a good general correlation um, between the original gravity and the uh, percentage you end up with. Um, another thing that uh, this bottle includes is the SRM which is the Standard Reference Method. And that's uh, a system used by the American Society of Brewer Brewery Chemists. And uh, they use a fancy machine called a spectrophotometer. And I don't even, I have no idea what that machine even does. But it, uh, they take a specific amount of beer, they put it in the machine, and then they, uh, whatever color comes back, um, that's the number they give it. In the number, it will range between one and 40. One being the palest yellow, 40 being the blackest black. Uh, this one was a 17, so it was a pale red. In Europe, they use a slightly different system. Uh, they, it's called the EBC, and it's uh, the general rule of thumb. You double it, double the SRM, it's uh, the EBC. Half the EBC, it's the SRM. So in Europe, this would be a 34. Um, another value that they put on is the International Bitterness Unit, the IBU, and that is how bitter it is. Um, your regular lagers will not be very bitter at all. They probably won't even go higher than 10. This one was a 49, so it was a nice middle of the road, more hops than some people would like. Uh, but hop heads like IBUs can go way over 80 as well. And yeah, the more more beers that tell you, the more you'll be able to gauge what IBUs you do like. Another another nice little note that they uh, included on the bottle is uh, our beers are unfiltered. Some haze is normal, which is a good good thing because sometimes if you don't know that your beer is going to be hazy, you pour it out and it's all cloudy and you're like, oh, it's bad. But no, it's. Uh, it's meant to be that way. So this bottle has all kinds of information on it, plus a really cool label. And the information. For myself, when I drank this beer, I didn't know what the OG meant, and really that's not gonna change my mind on a beer, I don't think, ever. But the uh, SRM, I do, I like really malty beers. Red beers in particular, for me, have a very good malty taste that I like. So I knew, so now I know, 17, 20, that's a good malty red beer for my tastes. Um, and IBUs, I, I really like really hoppy beers, but not all the time. So knowing that it's a 49, um, it wouldn't be one of those beers that's over the top that I may not be in the mood for, uh, but I do, I enjoy beers that are 75, 80. When I did drink this beer, it was around Halloween, so I thought that was fitting to grab a uh, zombie beer around Halloween. So it was very, very intriguing, the, uh, the description. I like one of those descriptions on the beers. Uh, it even tells me the, uh, the different hops and malts that they actually used in it, which not very many breweries um, do. Um, 
even though I don't really know much about the hops, uh, I knew enough to know that the Zythos hops and the Azaka hops, I've never had beers with those hops, particular hops. Um, Alright, well thank you for tuning into this episode of Crafting Beard with myself, Cody Craft. Hope you learned something. Hope you'll be able to be better informed when you're picking up your next beer and uh, you can better know your tastes and challenge them. So if you enjoyed the episode, found it helpful, like it, if you have questions or comments, you'll leave it below. Uh, and stay tuned for the next episode.